again this is 12 minus 18 it is minus 6 so this is the part what we have now so in this stages we have to calculate these values there we may get it as like this dividing that part 1 11 3 1 11 3 these are the values of this one 1 11 3 this will be the value of our required matrix inversion method x will be 1 11 3 so we can calculate this values as like this 1 11 3 okay so this is about the matrix inversion method right we stop here it is the matrix inversion method so after that we discuss the some another example based on this okay we got the determinant a now our aim is to go find the adjoint a you know that a value a is already we discussed this is 1 1 1 and again 1 minus 1 1 2 minus 1 3 it is a now i have to find out adjoint a see here i am apply, i am telling the one method which we can find adjoint a directly it can be applicable in the intermediate board of examination it is very easy and we can do it but here we write the sign scheme alternatively plus minus plus minus plus again minus plus minus again plus minus plus so this is the part here after this I have to write the minus see minor means any element minor is nothing but eliminating that row and that column contained by that particular element so then that 2 by 2 matrix determinant value is nothing but minor once again repeating minor is nothing but determinant of a sub matrix by eliminating the row and column contained by the particular element so here I am eliminating this row contained by one row contained by column that means my aim is to calculate minor of one so from that directly I get the cofactor of one see one row is this one one column is this one after eliminating I got there a 2 by 2 matrix minus 1 1 minus 1 3 here I can apply AD minus BC AD minus BC this AD minus BC this I get it as minus 3 minus 2 this I get it as minus 3 minus 2 here very clearly I may get there minus 3 minus of minus 1 this I get it as plus 1 it will become minus 2 right it's okay now I would like to find the first row second column element first row second column element see if we eliminate this part you get there 3 minus 2 3 minus 2 you got there 1 so that I am writing 1 see here you have to observe that while finding the row minus I am writing the I am writing the in the column so this is the directly we can get the transpose of cofactors this is one of the way one of approach right again I would like to find the first row third call element this is minus 1 plus 2 minus 1 plus 2 there I get minus 1 plus 2 is nothing but 1 so that's why I would like to write it as 1 now I am going to discuss this part ma second row second row's first column element is one here so eliminating that row and that column eliminating this row and this column so if i eliminate this row and this column what i get three plus one what i get there three minus of minus plus one now so that's why it is minus four right till this step no problem again i'm going to do the second mill that is minus one second rows second column element this minus one this is eliminated this is eliminated there I get 3 minus 2 there I get 3 minus 2 so very clearly you got there 1 right that also 1 again I am doing this part elimination of this one eliminating this one eliminating this one that means this column and this row then what I get there second row is eliminated third column is eliminated second row is eliminated third column is eliminated there I get minus 1 minus 2 that is minus 3 there you get there like this ma eliminating this one 
and this column there I get minus 1 minus 2 so that you get there minus 3 here I am writing minus 3 right after this here eliminating this part 2 eliminating 2 you got there 2 is eliminated 1 plus 1 it is 2 right again minus 1 is eliminating this row and this column is eliminating you got there 0 right again eliminate 3 here by eliminating 3 you got there minus 1 minus 2 eliminating 3 means the row contained 3 the column contained 3 is eliminated minus 1 minus 1 you got there minus 2 right after this entire discussion we got the adjoint a this adjoint a as adjoint a as like this in this adjoint a what we get it as like this adjoint a will be adjoint a is equal to minus 2 minus 1 1 minus 4 1 plus 3 again 2 0 minus 2 this is the part right you got there from this I have to find out the a inverse adjoint a you got then a inverse you can write we know the a inverse formula a inverse formula a inverse is equal to 1 by determinant of a into adjoint of a that you may write 1 by minus 2 into minus 2 minus 4 2 minus 1 1 0 1 3 minus 2 now by our discussion x is equal to a inverse into b that implies minus 1 by 2 into a inverse is already we know that now minus 1 minus 2 minus 4 2 minus 1 1 0 1 3 minus 2 into this you have to evaluate so b value everybody we know that b value as like this this is b is 6 2 9 right you got the b value you got the a inverse now we may calculate this values a inverse is already we know that b is already we know that so multiplying this part what we get there x is equal to minus 1 by 2 into multiplying this part minus 12 minus 8 18 minus 12 minus 8 18 plus 18 right again minus 6 plus 2 plus 0 again here this you get ma like this 6 plus 6 again minus 18 right after this you got there minus 1 by 2 as this one as like this after this part it is minus 2 it is minus 4 it is minus 6 right dividing with minus 1 by 2 there you get this as 1 2 3 so finally you got there x as 1 2 3 finally you got there x as 1 2 3 here x is already x y z this equal to 1 2 3 by comparison this implies x is 1 x is 1 y is 2 z is 3 this is the part what we all know so this is the way to solve by using matrix inversion method so this is the how to solve a inversion method okay so till now what we discuss completely inversion matrix method and Kramer's rule and God's order method that means LAQ all board of intermediate modules are covered long answer questions which are obtained in board of intermediate all we covered determinants we covered and as well as equations also we covered so these are the parts now we discuss the short answer questions and very short answers questions okay dear students eroji episode lo matrices topic lo ni matrix inversion method gurinchi nerchukunnam kada repeat episode lo matrices topic gurinchi marikonni amsalanu telusukundam till then keep watching kab television